Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand bandwidth and bandwidth delay product. So, we will try to understand the definition of bandwidth and also what is a bandwidth delay product. So, what is meant by bandwidth? Bandwidth refers to the number of bits per second that a channel or a link can transmit so it is usually expressed in number of bits that can be traveled that can be transmitted per second so usually the bandwidth the bandwidth is the number of bits per second number of bits per second that a channel or a link will get uh, can be transmitted for example if you take uh, if you want to take a uh, take an internet connection so the uh, internet service providers are going to specify the bandwidth that are available 10 mbps 10 megabits per second 100 mbps 100 megabits per second so that is what we call it as bandwidth so most of the people think that that is the speed of the internet that is not the speed of the internet that is the bandwidth of the internet so let try to let's try to understand the differentiation between the bandwidth and the speed by using a simple example for example if you take a container and uh, we want to fill this container by using a funnel so uh, let's try to by using this funnel and uh, for example let's assume that this is the diameter of the funnel this is the diameter of the funnel and we want to pour we want to fill this uh, uh, container by using this funnel and we are trying to pour the water into the funnel so we'll we'll try to pour the water glass of water uh, into the funnel let's try to find the calculate the amount of time taken by the by this funnel uh, by the water to pass through this funnel and fill this container so uh, uh, and the diameter of the funnel is this is the diameter and the speed of the water is totally depend upon the gravitational force so uh, the speed is going to be uniform the speed is going to be uniform so for example if you pour the water into this uh, uh, through this funnel pour the water into this funnel so uh, for example if it is going to take uh, uh, let's assume that it is a uh, 0.5 second so within 0.5 seconds so this is this is going to get filled so the complete water is going to come down into the container now now uh, let's try to take the same container but we are going to take a different funnel whose diameter is uh, double the size of the previous funnel so let's try to take the bigger diameter funnel bigger diameter funnel so let's visualize it bigger diameter funnel now pour the same glass of water will it take the same 0.5 seconds or it is going to uh, uh, demo uh, for that glass of water take the same glass of water will the same glass of water is going to take the same amount of time to completely fell into this container no it is not going to take the same same amount of time because the diameter of the funnel is a bigger one but the speed at which the water flows through the funnel is the same it depends upon the gravitational force so the speed is same but the amount of time uh, uh, for the water to pass through the funnel is going to be lesser let's assume that it is 0.25 second so which one is filling faster uh, into the container so this funnel so this diameter of the funnel is what we call it as bandwidth of the bandwidth of the communication channel it may be a wire it may be uh, it uh, it is the uh, a wire through which the amount of bits that are that can be transmitted per second is what we call it as bandwidth of the channel so it is not the speed of the channel so that differentiation is very important to understand to bring it down uh, simply it is the diameter of the diameter of the funnel so as the diameter of the funnel increases the rate at which the water flows into the uh, funnel is going to be very high so it means it's going to take less amount of time to fill into the to fall into the container so that is what we call it as bandwidth let's try to understand another concept called bandwidth delay product so what is this bandwidth delay product is the maximum number of bits that can fill the link so the maximum 
number of bits that can fill the given link between the sender and the receiver the link that is getting attached so within that link within that link the maximum number of fills that the, the maximum number of bits that can be filled is what we call it as a bandwidth delay product let's try to understand it with simple analogy simple example so that differentiation so we are going to use it in uh, next coming classes so for example if we have a channel so uh, a sender and a, a receiver sender and receiver now assume that the assume that the channel the channel that we have between the sender and the receiver is of capacity one bit per second means per second we can transmit one bit so per second we can transmit one bit into the channel so that is what we call it as bandwidth and the delay of this channel delay of this channel is five seconds let's assume that it is five seconds so per second we are going to transmit per second we are going to transmit one bit and to fill this channel to fill this channel so what is the amount of time taken by this by this bit to transmit to the receiver the amount of time for example if it is timestamp one second two seconds three second four second and this is fifth second this is the first second this is second second third fourth and fifth second so the delay is five seconds which means that for this bit to transmit from here to sender to receiver it need five seconds that is what we call it as a delay so how many bits can we fill the maximum number of bits that we can fill in the link so on which properties does this uh, the number of bits that can be transmitted in the link is dependent it is the bandwidth of the channel and the delay of the channel so what you have to understand is the number of bits so uh, the first in the second second in the second second we are going to fill two say two bits first bit and second bit in the third second in the third second what happens is we are going to fill the third bit and this is a, a second bit and this is the first bit so i'm a uh, little bigger it is so in the fourth second what happens is the fourth bit will be here the third bit will be here the second bit will be here and this is a first bit and in the fifth second what happens is fifth bit will be here uh, it is a fourth bit third bit second bit and this is what we call it as first bit so this is so the number of bits that can fill the channel on what factors it is dependent upon it is the bandwidth it is the physical property of the channel which means that the capacity the number of bits that can be transmitted per second is what we call it as bandwidth and the number of bits that can be filled within the link is uh, the other factor which is influencing is bandwidth and delay so the number of bits that can be transmitted that can be filled uh, within the channel is it is bandwidth one second into 5 this is what we call it as bandwidth delay product which is going to fill we can fill 5 bits so this entire channel can fill 5 bits okay so uh, for example if you take the bandwidth of the channel as 4 bits 4 bits per second and the delay is 5 seconds let's assume that the delay is 5 seconds so how many bits we can fill this channel with this channel can be filled with 4 into 5 bandwidth delay product it is 4 into 5 20 bits 20 bits we can fill in with okay so this is what we call it as bandwidth delay product and uh, hope you got the clarity about this concept of bandwidth thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubt regarding this concept please post your doubts in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching